It's only like the first level. Let's go over there. Let's make our way out. with that food up there. Okay. Thanks for waiting. Wait. What did you get? I got, I got a lady Buddha for my friend. I got a pineapple for a friend who likes pineapple. And then I got a little cloud with rainbow drops for me. Because I wanted something for me. <laughs> After the market, we headed to the Soho area to grab some dinner. We went to this place called Bo Cafe and had some very delicious Vietnamese food. I highly recommend. Hi, thanks for tuning in and happy holiday. I got in the like holiday spirit <laughs> and brought out all of my Christmas babies down here. Um, to like get in that festive mood. I hope everyone's looking forward to the holidays and being able to spend time with 
friends, family, and loved ones. So I just wanted to sit down and share a little bit more about where I went in the vlog footage that you saw earlier. Chanel was having an activation event at the Standard Hotel. It was Chanel number no. five in the snow. It was open and free to the public. There was an ice rink where you could borrow ice skates to go on, on the ice. They also had some complimentary hot cocoa and I think you could also get actual food that I was coming from the hotel. Oh, and then there was also what they called like arts and crafts and they were giving out these little um, pouches so this is what they look like. They have a little ornament in them. So let me show you what it looks like. They have a little ornament. They have a little sample of the perfume and some stickers. So this is a QR code about the event. This is the uh, Chanel number no. five low, low uh, sample in here. And then this is the little ornament. So it is literally the Chanel symbol in some snow. And it's like sturdy cardboard. So it's not, it's not like a piece of paper, but it's also not plastic or resin. And then these are the little stickers. So they have little snowflakes, the perfume bottle, and then the makeup um, like white shopping bags which I thought was really cute. So that's everything that came in this little pouch. Then there was this uh, corner called pen and post. So you could grab a postcard and send it to anybody that you wanted. I just grabbed the postcards themselves because I thought they were cute memorabilia. And then there was this little stand that had some cookies and Rice Krispie treats. This was the little sugar cookie in there. It's a snowflake and it also had this little uh, like Chanel snowflake tag on it so you'll see on my tree I put a couple on there um, and I, I think the, the cookie is so cute too but this is the sugar cookie and then they also had Oreo Rice Krispie so this is the Oreo Rice Krispie and uh, you may have seen in the video that I really really like Oreos so I was thrilled that this was an Oreo Rice Krispie and it was no just plain Rice crispy. <laughs> but that was pretty much everything that we did at the event. It was a rather like warm Saturday and it was misting and slightly rainy. So I didn't particularly want to go on the ice. So I enjoyed the hot chocolate. I enjoyed the ambiance there. I took a lot of uh, really cute photos that I have posted or will be posting on Instagram. I enjoyed myself there and then we decided to head over to Union Square to go to the holiday market that's out there. You might have heard in the vlog that uh, it opens every year the day after Thanksgiving and it is open until Christmas Eve. It is a very fun, pretty iconic marketplace in my opinion. During the holiday season, they'll have these kinds of marketplaces open up. Um, there's one in Bryant Park. There's this one that's in Union Square. My favorite is the one that's at Union Square. It's the largest one that I know of. Bryant Park has the ice rink, so there's different traffic that goes there. Rockefeller Center has an ice rink, so there's different traffic that goes there. But um, the one that's at Union Square, I think, has a nice collection of, of some eclectic things, some local made, um, like local artisan crafted pieces <laughs> and items. Uh, and then because I've been going there year after year, I'll recognize that there are some stores that um, I've been to before. So we tried our best to tr uh, share what the marketplace looks like. It's a mix of like food and shop vendors. You know, the food is for you to be able to gift, like there was some chocolate, there was like a specialty chocolate stand. Uh, but there's also food stands for you to eat while you're there. And then a lot of times there will be um, vendors of local artisans with their um, crafted jewelry, artwork, clothing, all sorts of things. So I think it's always really fun just to stop by, even if it is to just peruse around. There can be a lot of people, especially on the weekends, but I think it's still worth it. <laughs> so I went to the holiday market with the intention of picking up some final gifts for my friends. I stopped by a stand that makes like handmade wool ornaments. The place is called Craft Spring. Apparently they also have a stand in Grand Central, uh, which is much larger than the stand that's in Union Square 
market. So I picked up three ornaments from there. Uh, the first one is this little cloud guy right here. Um, it's a cloud that has little rainbow raindrops, which I thought was super, super cute. So that one's just for me. I saw it and I really liked it. So I wanted to have it for my tree. And then these are the other two. So I got a, a pineapple and this is for a friend who just really, really likes pineapples. And then I got this um, I think this is like a, a Buddha that's sitting on a lotus leaf. This is for a, another friend um, that I want her to remind her for her inner peace. <laughs> um, all of these come with this little tag in here that says this product is handmade in Kyrgyzstan at the heart of the Silk Road in studios founded and run by women artisans using all natural materials and traditional felting methods craftspring.com so it looks like they have a website as well in case you're interested so these are super super cute and it was like a really busy stand I'm not going to lie there were a lot of people that day one of the other stands we stopped by and actually purchased from was called fatty Sunday. so they are a brand that makes sweet and salty snacks I believe they're based out of Brooklyn um, they're basically chocolate covered pretzels which for the record is my boyfriend's like one of my boyfriend's favorite snacks we got a birthday cake flavor which you'll see is opened because as soon as he got it, he gave me some to eat while I was waiting to purchase my ornaments. Um, so these are pretzel pieces dipped in white chocolate and vanilla cookies with rainbow sprinkles. These are bite-sized pretzels. These are absolutely delicious. Uh, oh yeah, these are dipped in Brooklyn, New York. So this was one that we picked up. And then we got these three right here. So the chocolate covered pretzels, cookies and cream because Oreos are like my favorite flavor in the world. Uh, milk chocolate and colorful sprinkles which are really cute and then the cinnamon sugar which effectively sounded like a churro to me so um, these are also one like flavors that we'll try and you might notice that I've like decided to lay out all my snacks in front of my little tree because I decided we're supposed to lay out cookies for Santa and here they are but maybe this year I'll be the Santa who eats them. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the holiday vlog. I wanted to share snippets of what it could be like to in New York City during the holidays. If I do have a chance, I will try to um, span through the holiday windows at the major department stores in New York City. So I know Macy's does a wonderful window display. Saks will do one too, and then Bergdorf also has beautiful windows, so uh, if I get a chance, I will try to film those. At a minimum, I'll at least post them on my stories, so you can definitely check them out there. Oh, and if you're wondering, of course, the, I feel like the only acceptable tree topper for me would be Chanel. I just thought it would be funny to put that at the top of my Christmas tree. Um, this is pretty much as festive as I get. Uh, I don't know if I'll really be able to put any other decorations or anything like that in my small apartment. This is actually a live tree so because my apartment is so small I was looking to get a really really small tree this year and at the place that I went to um, they actually had one that's still potted so it's a live tree and now the intention is to keep it alive during the year and like effectively reuse the same tree every year instead of getting a tree that's cut that will d eventually die and then we'd have to get rid of. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. I really appreciate the community that is growing here. I read all of your comments and I try to re reply to all of them and I, I appreciate every one of your likes and things like that so uh, I, I just wanted to take a moment to really thank you for all of your support and really contributing to the community as well um, I really see this as like a two-way platform it's not one where I just like keep talking into a camera and that's it I really like to get the feedback from you and also get a lot of your thoughts because it helps inform you know that's really the whole intention of of this channel is really to help inform and to share information um, so I appreciate everybody who has come along this journey thus far and I I hope you all will stick around for the next chapter of this journey so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so until next time bye